After the Battle of Bull Run, both the North and the South realized that this would not be a quick war. New soldiers continued to join the Union and Confederate armies. Early in the war, the Union had an advantage because it already had an army and a navy while the Confederates were still trying to build both. The Confederates had won a key victory at the First Battle of Bull Run, and they had protected their capital from the Union Army. Abraham Lincoln and the Union Army knew that Richmond, Virginia would be difficult to take, so they began looking at invading other areas of the Confederacy, including Tennessee. Confederate leaders knew that Lincoln was going to invade Tennessee, and they realized that the most likely routes of invasion into Tennessee would be the three rivers, the Mississippi, the Tennessee, and the Cumberland Rivers. Near the border of Kentucky and Tennessee, Confederate troops built two forts on the rivers to protect Tennessee from a federal invasion. They built Fort Henry on the Tennessee River and Fort Donaldson on the Cumberland River. Both of these forts were built less than 50 miles from Dixon County. Many volunteer soldiers from Dixon County served at both forts. In the fall of 1861, Lincoln began planning an invasion of Tennessee. Union troops led by Ulysses S. Grant began moving through Kentucky. In January of 1862, General Grant attacked Fort Henry. They came down the Tennessee River with six gun boats and 15,000 troops. The Union Army took Fort Henry easily. Grant and his men moved east about 20 miles and attacked Fort Donelson next. At first the Confederates put up a good fight, but they were eventually defeated and forced to surrender on February 16, 1862. Before surrendering, some of the Confederates escaped, including Nathan Bedford Forrest and about 1,000 Confederate troops. Forrest and his men retreated and began heading back towards Nashville. They stopped in Charlotte in Dixon County to rest. The people of Dixon County were loyal to the Confederacy. They gave food and supplies to Forrest and his men before they left to head back to Nashville. The battles of Fort Donelson and Fort Henry were the first losses for the Confederacy up to that point in the war. Less than a week after the Union Army captured Fort Donelson and Fort Henry, Ulysses S. Grant made his way to Nashville to begin occupying the city. General Grant and his troops took down the Confederate flag and raised the American flag over the Tennessee State Capitol in Nashville. Nashville would remain occupied by the Union Army for the rest of the Civil War. The remaining Confederate troops regrouped and moved south to Corinth, Mississippi. A few months later, after taking Nashville from the Confederates, General Grant and his men began moving south towards Mississippi. Grant learned that the Confederates were regrouping in Corinth, so he moved his forces close by to Savannah, Tennessee, in Hardin County, in April of 1862. The Confederates knew that General Grant was planning an invasion of Mississippi, and they wanted to strike first. The Confederates launched a surprise attack early in the morning on April 6, 1862. The Confederates met the Union Army at a place called Pittsburgh Landing, near a church known as Shiloh. The Union Army was cooking breakfast when the attack began. On the first day, the Confederates were successful, but as the battle dragged into the second day, the Union began to win. There was a pond on the battlefield, and by the end of the battle, the water had turned red from all of the blood from all of the people that had died near the pond. Today, this is known as the Bloody Pond. After two days of fighting, both armies decided to march away from each other. Nearly 24,000 Americans were killed on both sides. It was the deadliest battle in American history up until that point. A few months later, the two sides met again at the Battle of Stones River near Murfreesboro, Tennessee. The Union Army won that battle too, but another 24,000 soldiers lost their life in that battle as well. The Union Army had won key victories at Fort Donelson, Fort Henry, Shiloh, and Stones River. 
The Union had successfully taken back Tennessee from the Confederacy, but the war was far from over.